Um, I started the Little Green Cinema, as you see, I'm a world walking advert. Um, I started the Little Green Cinema about a year ago. So tonight is actually not only a celebration for me to have Steve and Kaylon here, but also to recognise the fact that we've been going for a whole year. Um, I just thought I'd give you a bit of background, if you'll bear with me. I know you're here to see Steve, and I know you're here to see the Kelp Hill, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about why I started the Little Green Cinema in the first place. Um, a few years ago, I actually wasn't very well, and um, in the afternoons, I used to watch films on Netflix just to relax. And in those films, there were three films that I watched that completely changed my life. Those were Chasing Ice, Chasing Coral, and Breaking Boundaries. Those three films were so powerful that, and I really at the time didn't actually know very much about the climate crisis and the ecological breakdown that we're seeing today. And I thought to myself, as many of you here have done the same thing, what can I do? So what can I do? I mean, I thought I felt helpless. I was thinking, God, dear, if the earth is in trouble, what am I gonna do? So I took a few steps, I joined Greenpeace, I joined Extinction Rebellion, and the Seaford Environmental Alliance was just starting, so I volunteered, and I'm now there as a trustee. Once I'd done that, again, you ask yourself, what more can I do? And the thought came into my head, this kind of idea, that if these films had affected me so much to change my whole direction of life, then surely if I could get more people to see these films, then maybe that could happen to them too. And that's why I started The Little Green Cinema. Instead of showing just the three films, I've now shown ten. At each film, we always make sure we have a conversation afterwards, because they can be quite difficult to watch. But afterwards, when we're talking about what we can do, what can we do as a community, what can we change as a community, and I think you can always relate to that question of what can you do. We have two examples here about Steve, what did he do? Kaylon, what did she do? And you know, a lot of other people here who've done an awful lot. And I'm in awe of all of you, I really am. Um, I was thinking it's a bit like we oh, sorry, I've lost my sort of thing. I knew I, I knew I shouldn't have had this in my hand. I knew it was gonna distract me. Um, I was going to mention about one thing that has happened in December, in November, sorry. On November the 20th, the motion for the ocean was passed by the local council in East Sussex. That's fantastic. And ironically, the, the quote they give for that motion is, a healthy ocean is an essential ally in our fight against climate change. And isn't that just what Steve's doing and what Kalon has been doing? fighting against the ocean being destroyed. So what do we see when we see all these bits, all these people that I see before me today, that I know all the things that you've been doing. And I thought of it today like a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, all of us are part of this jigsaw puzzle. And if we all join together, we make a beautiful, beautiful picture for the future. 